you have contacts that you need to be able to get a hold of at any given time. If you're off-site, you need to be able to recover something. It's nice to have an application that you can simply log into and reference a file or to share that file to somebody who, who needs to look at it. A lot of services out there, like a lot of storage services, uh, are dangerous for CIOs because you don't have any control over what users are making available to the public. So you have all these services like uh, Box.net and Dropbox, which are putting businesses' information out in this cloud that the CIO doesn't really have any transparency or visibility into. But now with our pulse management system and with the availability to manage backup sets and uh, get all this from a mobile device to a workstation, you have that functionality and you have that control. Then you move into what we're doing from a more of a, a business perspective, being able to back up your system data. And this is the SOS service state product that we're introducing this month. So system state, applications, so your, your SQL servers, Exchange, SharePoint, Active Directory, all these things are now covered by our system. Uh, some of our existing partners on the line today will remember what we did before, which was using a third party to create an image of a system or a volume and then split that image up into smaller bits and then using SOS to go off-site. Now that was done because SOS has the most secure cloud in the industry today, and so they wanted to take advantage of that. Well, now we've built it all into one application, and there's no one else in the market today who's currently offering a solution that starts the cloud, goes to mobile, workstation, desktop, your file and folder server, and then all of your server data from you know, to create you know images of different volumes or just the entire system altogether. So it, it's really quite uh, phenomenal what we've done this for and and the price point we've done it at. So when we were putting together this program, we were really thinking in terms of our partner program and how we can make this most disruptive for the market so that it's most profitable for our partners. So we have this robust solution that we're now offering at an absolute ninja price point. I mean, you can come in at a base at a base price where it costs you, you know, less than sixty dollars per month per server. That includes two hundred and fifty gigs of online cloud space. So a lot of service, a lot of services out there that we've been looking at. They require that you buy some uh, overpriced staging machine, some staging server for a couple thousand dollars, and it's limited to handling proprietary file formats. Uh, where really now it's about, you know, use whatever you need to. Uh, we're not a hardware system. We've never been a hardware company, and we're not going to pigeonhole you into buying hardware from us just because that's where our roots are. We are a software company, and we'll give you, you know, choices. Now, really, all you need for our staging machine is a Windows 7 box with 8 gigs of RAM, something about that, and uh, that'll be good to go. So maybe it costs you a few hundred bucks to put that together rather than having to buy a $2,000, $3,000 staging server from Zenith or uh, Dato or any of those other companies that require purchases like that. And while we're on that topic, uh, who are all... Who are you all using for your your disaster recovery solutions right now uh, when it comes to uh, image-based backups? There's some questions on here also while those answers are coming in. Are virtual hosts supported, like VMware, Zen, etc.? Yeah, you can back up virtual machines. So you would just install server save on the, each virtual machine just as you would as it were as if it were a standalone physical machine. So you got on queue, Acronis, Live Vault. Yeah, so we're offering really with the way we position this is to get the offering out there in a way that at the very least matches the offering, but at a quarter of the cost. So when you enter the server save program, what are you getting? SOS server save, we have the, the main topics on the left and then kind of a description uh, throughout the rest of the table. But exchange backup and granular recovery. 
So with our system, you can create images of whatever volume you want. So take an take a image of your Exchange server, and we'll go through this at the end of the uh, presentation. You'll be able to go into the Exchange server, and you can recover it down to the mail level. So it, it really is quite beneficial for electronic discovery, anything of that nature, for your daily recovery of individual mail messages for those users who just seem to always delete messages. Uh, and you can also recover entire users and, and mailboxes or migrate an entire exchange server to a completely new box. So it's really quite flexible and lets you do pretty much anything that you would want to do when it comes to uh, recovering your exchange server. Bare Metal Image Creator and Image Stream. So Image Creator is what you're actually going to install and use to schedule your local backup job. So your, the system is designed to first create an image of your production server to a staging machine, which is the Windows 7 box that we discussed lightly earlier. From there, you would use what we've designed an image stream to take that image off-site. So those of you, again, familiar with our, our software, we used to recommend going with a third party to create an image, maybe split that image up into some chunks so that it works a little better, and then go off-site. Well, image stream is designed specifically for the purpose of backing up to the cloud these large image files. So you have images created uh, both full and incremental to some staging machine locally or on the same network anyways. And then on the staging machine you have image stream doing a trickle feed back up to our data centers. And uh, okay, I got a bunch of looks like a pretty uh, pretty much the same group of services out there. So we got OnQ, which is a new one to me, Acronis, Live Vault, Backup Exec. Uh, how much do you all typically, how much does it cost typically to have a server with 250 gigs of online cloud space uh, per month? Or how much do you typically charge your customers? And then while those answers are coming in, uh, going down the line, so then we have so bare metal image creator to create all the images to a local device or a network device, and an image stream that's specifically designed to go off-site. So uh, based on the amount of storage used. So just use 250 gigs for an example. Uh, so then image stream is designed specifically to get off there. So we actually did a test against uh, Mosey and Carbonite, because those are our two main competitors. Uh, when it comes to online file and folder backup, and we are by far the fastest in the industry. An image stream is a fire hose compared to what we're using in our online file and folder system. Next, you have the Pulse centralized management system. So Pulse allows you to monitor and control the backup schedules for this. Uh, one big thing with management tools is security. A lot of management tools walk a fine line of violating security needs when it comes to HIPAA compliance, Sarbanes-Oxley, SAP 70 Type 2, uh, SAP SSAE 16, uh, EU Safe Harbor. We've designed Pulse specifically so that it doesn't affect any of these instances. It doesn't provide any access to information. All it does is allow the administrator to remotely monitor backup events and backup logs and session details, and then specifically change the schedule on which those are running. So it doesn't actually give you access to information, so you don't have to worry about Pulse violating security uh, for some of your higher security needs, needs clients. So Pulse is an agent-based system, and you choose whether you want to install it or not. Even if so, even if there was, you know, there's always a few where uh, maybe you want to move it in slowly. That's totally up to you. Online backup and recovery. This is our flagship product. This is a file and folder online backup system. So that, that's going to be good for individual users to take advantage of. It's great for workstations, laptop fleets, file servers. It, it's really designed to get a file and folder backup done, which is a very, very valuable and very important critical part of any backup solution. 
So Premier Web Integration, this talks to really the 360 degree partner program that we're offering you today. So the Premier Web Integration is a product that's just unprecedented in the market and it takes the integration out of billing integration. Uh, it lets you tie right into your PayPal or Authorize.net merchant account so you can start accepting payments from your users if you want to do that. Uh, it gives you also somewhat of a customer facing website. So we just require a domain, uh, point it to our DNS, we put the application up there. And it lets you manage through a very simple CMS information that's on the web that's facing your clients. It also gives you the ability to manage your clients, mass email, get support ticketing. So all, all these things that are very nice. And we'll go through that in more detail in just a minute. And then the mobile backup. So we have the backup for the Droid, iPhone, and Blackberry. So we're going to be releasing these things in stages. So in the next 30 to 45 days, we should have a generic iPhone application available to our partners. And then uh, the Droid will follow shortly thereafter, and then BlackBerry thereafter. So again, it's an end-to-end -end solution. So rather than just offering a single strategy like our online backup and recovery, program or a different strategy just for bare metal images to be created. Uh, we're offering it all in a single package so you get an end-to-end -end solution which means you have less vendor relationships to manage, you have less training for your staff, you don't have to train them on numerous systems or numerous relationships you have with vendors. Uh, it makes it all very simple for you. <clears throat> Alright, uh, before we get into this graph shows V4 is what we considered our file and folder technology, and then V5 is with the addition of SOS server save. So we have in here Carbonite and Mosey because those are who we were primarily competing with and being referenced against, being you know, some of the two consumer giants out there, Mosey and Carbonite. And this shows that we've always been we've always been better. We've been you know the the high end file and folder system out there since we've been around. But now that we've moved into server save, we really just don't compete with these two anymore. Uh, well, rather, they don't compete with us. Uh, they really just aren't interested in getting into this market. Or if they are, they haven't entered this market yet. So now we're looking more at Zenith and Tronus and I365 as the other services that really give you some of this functionality. So some of the things that they have, we may not, but for the most part, we're offering